Hello, good morning everyone. Happy Monday. Good morning, teacher. I hope everyone is doing well. Feel free to unmute your microphone and say hello if you haven't already done so. Good morning. Today is October 5th, 2020, and we're just starting week seven. So we're starting uh, the second two weeks of unit two. Um, today we're going to talk about celebrities. This is going to be our topic for today, and we're going to separate into our new performance task teams. We'll talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about, we've got a song for the day today. We're going to listen to our song at the end of class. So at nine 30, we'll come back and uh, listen to our song. Today's song is blueberry eyes recommended by Mira Jacqueline. So we'll be listening to that song today. Uh, but I want to start off by a couple of things here. Uh, I want to try to start using meeting notes and Microsoft Teams to maybe help organize what we talk about, what we do each day. So if this helps you, if you want to refer to this list, you can find it in Microsoft Teams under the general channel. Along the top, you should have an option that says meeting notes. Okay, so you might have to click down or click this down arrow for to find meeting notes. Uh, for example, if I click post it may disappear and so just click this down arrow and click meeting notes and I'll try to uh, get in the habit of including meeting notes for each class that we have okay again just a simple outline of some of the key points and activities that we do for today so today I have our meeting notes all right and I'll try to include the date and try to make it Fairly easy, fairly accessible for you. So refer to this if it helps, either during class or after class, to help see what we did for each class. I will also, of course, try to record each class if you need to uh, listen to it later. Uh, as I've mentioned before in other classes, if you guys want to schedule time with me outside of class for uh, any questions that you might have and of course in any of our classes for listening and speaking but also any classes that you have in your other prope classes feel free to uh, let me know let me know if you want to uh, schedule maybe small teams if you have a team uh, if you have some other classmates that are experiencing similar questions about grammar or basically anything that you're uh, coming across uh, let me know and I uh, will try to schedule some time outside of uh, class, maybe in the afternoons, uh, to uh, address your questions. Okay. So let me know if you guys have any uh, questions or you want to schedule time for, for that purpose. I want to remind everyone about the grades for the first performance task that we completed in week five. The last thing that we need to do to get a grade for the performance task is to complete a YouTube reflection. So if you have not done so already, please make sure that you've included your reflection for your performance task. Talk about any specific points about your performance in your reflection and try as a team to make sure that your each of you is talking about different aspects of your performance, right? Try to avoid general um, evaluations like, oh, we did a good job. Well, what aspects do you think you did well in, right? And you can talk about different aspects of your performance in your reflection. It can be brief, but I would like it to be specific. So 
once you've done that, right, I've, I'm trying to go in each day to see who has uploaded and upload your grid and change your grades, okay, modify your grades. Um, but what I would ask if you have already uploaded your reflection and your grade has not been changed to send me a message in Microsoft Teams to, to check it. And I would also ask if you could just include also remind me what um, what group that you were in for your first performance task. Okay, so um, once I receive those messages, then I'll go in and uh, take a look and change your grade. But please, uh, guys, if you can check your grade in um, in uh, Teacher Ease and go ahead and upload the reflections because I want to finish the performance task. I don't because we're today we're going to start our second performance task. So I really don't want to leave open the first performance task after today. So finish the performance task, check your grades, let me know. Now the podcasts, okay, the podcast, I asked everyone last week to change the nomenclature of how you name your um, how you name your uh, your podcast episodes. All right, so I'm going to go into the chat, okay, so you can look in the chat. This is the nomenclature. Nomenclature is just a fancy word of of, of, in our case, how we're going to name each of our episodes for our podcast. And this is how I would like for all of the podcasts. Now, the, all four podcasts and all podcast episodes that come up later on, I would like them to be like this. Okay, I'm going to type this into the chat. I think the first, I don't remember now, maybe the first uh, episode, the first podcast episode is week three, if I'm not mistaken, okay? But it's going to look something like this. This would be like your first episode um, for your podcast. And correct me if I'm wrong, if I have the weeks wrong, but this it's going to be something like this, title of your episode, and then this would be number two. Something like that, right? So you've got the week first, underscore, and then the title of your episode. The title of your episode, title of your episode, first four or five words. Okay, so if you have a long a title for your episode, uh, you don't have to include the whole title. You can include just the first four or five words. That's fine and then the number of the episode, right? So this will allow us to easily sort the the, doc, the episodes, okay? Because you're going to accumulate several episodes by the end of the, the semester. You may have, I don't know, 13 or 14 or so episodes once we finish. So this will help us to organize. I can click and sort, and you can as well, so that the most recent episode will appear along the top. And it just helps me also to find which episode that I'm looking at for that week. All right, so um, once you've changed the nomenclature of the, the names of your episodes, all right, I will, uh, I will go in and change your grades for your podcast. If you have any podcast grades that are... Uh, pending that are aren't updated. That's why I'm waiting for everyone to change the nomenclature of the the name of your episodes, right, in your shared folder. Okay. All right. So, any questions about the podcast or what I'm asking here for your podcast episodes? No, did you? No. All right, so today what I'd like to do is I'm going to go under post under Microsoft Teams, and you'll see now 
a link to our performance task number two. These are going to be our teams. So each unit, we're in unit two. Each unit will have a performance task. So let me make this a little bit larger here. And you can access the same folder, the same file, I should say. But these are the teams now for our second performance task. Make sure to find your name, and if, uh, if your name for some reason doesn't appear, let me know. These are going to be your teams for the second performance task. Today we're going to start working in our teams for our second performance task. We'll do just a small activity today. We will continue working some in class in our teams for our performance task. But like for the first unit, this may require that you work together outside of uh, the class. It's very important that you guys work together. I know that problems come up with technology. I know that we have commitments, right? Maybe outside of class we have other responsibilities. But it's each of your responsibilities is to try to work around those commitments, that you work together and that you find ways to uh, get the job done, basically, right? Whether it's getting together or whether it's just uh, meeting your responsibilities. If you're going to be assigned a role, you're going to be doing some aspect of the performance that you complete what you're expected to complete. Okay, so the key here with any type of group work or teamwork is to stay, uh, to, to communicate and to not get behind, right? And of course, if things come up that you communicate with your team. Of course, if something comes up and you want to contact me or you feel you need to contact me with your group about your group work, do so. But it's more important at the beginning is that you are talking amongst yourselves that you agree not only what you want to do, but how you're going to work together. And make it very clear from the very beginning. You might decide, okay, we're going to meet twice a week, right, or once a week, or maybe once on the weekend at a certain time. And if you all agree, then you should meet that commitment that you should you know, do what basically you said you were going to do. It's very important because it's not just your grade that, uh, or it's not just your performance, right? You're you're actually affecting the the other your classmates' uh, performance as well when you are doing what you said you would do. So please make sure that you guys are communicating that you're working together uh, over the next two weeks in these new teams. Uh, these teams are randomly generated, okay? So, um, you know, if you're if you're working again with someone you worked with before, it, it was certainly uh, not intentional. It's a random uh, assignment, all right? And uh, again, if there are issues, if there are problems working together as a team, I do want to know. I want to talk to the whole team and try to reach... A consensus. Try to reach a an agreement on not only what you're going to do, but how you're going to work together. All right. So here are our teams. Hopefully, everyone um, has been assigned a team. Again, please let me know if your name for some reason does not appear on here. I think I have everybody, and you can access this same document under the post from this morning from uh, 7:40. I posted the team assignments under Unit 2 Performance Task Teams. Alrighty, so our first, first activity. All right, so we're going to be talking today about celebrities. and But before we do that, I want to give you guys a few minutes to get into your performance task team. So we're going to continue using, just as we've done before, these group channels. 
again, I'm using the word group and team as, uh, as synonymous. They're the same thing, right? So if you're in team one, you're going to go into group one, and this is now going to be your space for the performance task. What I would like for us to do today is to go into your group, your new group for your performance task and create a meeting and start discussing roles. Now, let me talk about what we're going to be doing for our second performance task, generally speaking. All right, I'm going to go into files under the general tab, under the general channel, performance tasks. You guys can access the same information. Under unit two, we have here a document. Okay, now this is a shared document. All of you should be able to open this Word document. And our first activity that I want to give you guys time to do today in class is to come up with some roles. And our roles all right, are going to be under three different categories. One category is fashion and famous celebrities. Okay, that's going to be one general category. The second category, traditions and holidays. And the third category, recipes, food, and culture. Now, we're going to continue over the next two weeks to talk about these topics, both as groups and in, in smaller groups, and just do individual activities related to these general topics. But the performance task, right, the performance task is going to include a group video that includes these three points. Again, number one, what's fashion and famous celebrities, number two, traditions and holidays, and number three, recipes, food, and culture. Now, what I'd like to do now is for you to go into your groups, and I would like for you to assign roles. Now, many of you, almost all of you, except for two groups, I think, have three members. So, in those cases, each member will choose one of these topics. Okay, so one, one of your teammates will choose fashion and famous celebrities, one teammate will choose traditions and holidays, and a third teammate will choose recipes, food, and culture. All right, now, if you have four members, then two members will have the same topic. So, for example, maybe one a team member will choose traditions and another will choose recipes. I'm sorry, holidays. Maybe uh, you have two team mem members and one team member wants to do a recipe and the other team member talks about food and culture, for example, right? So depending on how many members in your team, right, that will uh, determine who, you know, who's going to talk about what. Now, if for some reason, because I'm, let's look at, I'm hoping everyone's here today. It looks like we're missing a few folks. We have 36 uh, participants in today's live class. Okay, so that means a few of your classmates are not here. So if you go into your team and let's say uh, you only have two members out of three, one person is not there, the two people that are here today can choose and decide the two topics and then you can assign the other person uh, the other topic, okay? Let's say that you have only one person in your team and maybe two or even three members are not in your team, for example. Then the person who is here, then you're going to have a choice. You decide which topic that you want to do and then go ahead and assign the people that are not here to one of these other topics, the, the people that are not here today, right, if there is a problem with the topic, if they don't want to talk about that topic, 
then um, I'm going to ask that you guys talk about it either today or tomorrow and work it out and negotiate and see if you can reach a decision about who's going to talk about what. Okay, so the idea here is that, you know, that you're choosing a topic that you have at least an option to choose, that you're working it out as a team, uh, which topic that you want to do. But I want you to talk about it first, all right? So right now, I want to give everyone about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. It's 8.20. I want you to go into your topics. Now, I know that we haven't talked about what we're going to do and what exactly what we're going to do in the the, the uh, video, right? I understand that. But this is just our, our first step in choosing a general topic and uh, later we'll talk about the specifics about exactly what's going to make a good performance this is just going to be our first um first activity our first task getting started uh working in our new teams thinking about now our next performance task okay so once you've assigned a role what I'm going to ask is that you include your name, your first and last name, since we have a lot, uh, a lot of you with similar first names. Um, I'm going to ask if you could include your first name and your last name. It doesn't have to be your whole name, but just your first name and last name uh, under the topic that you chose. So we're, we're going to have a list of members, of team members, under each of these three categories okay uh, any questions about this first task and that's the only task at this point is to, and you don't have to record the session okay for this task right now it's just going into your groups and deciding talking about who wants to do what and then coming in and adding your name to this shared word document again this word document can be found under the general channel Files, Performance Tasks, Unit 2 Performance Task, and there's a Word document called A Good Performance. It's a Word document that you should be able to open up on your computer. All right, any questions, guys, about uh, this first task? No. 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 The, only thing, the only thing that we have to do is to choose is um to choose our topic uh all of the members of our team have to choose uh, the topic and we have to uh we have to write our names right that's correct that's all that's all i'm asking you to do and and uh it's 8 23 right now We'll probably come back. It should take only about ten or fifteen minutes. I'm saying I'm thinking about eight thirty-five. We'll come back and do the next uh, activity. This is just for you guys to talk a little bit about which of these three that you want to do. Decide, and then add your name to the document. That's correct. That's all you need to do at this point. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, my camera, and uh, if you do have any questions, jump in. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our teams, decide the roles, add your name to this document, and at this point, that's all that you need to do. Okay, teacher.
If you guys are having problems editing the document, maybe one of your uh, teammates can help you and add your name for you. Okay, it's not necessary if you have some issues accessing the document. Uh, at this time, just ask just ask one of your uh, classmates. And you use this is a speaking class. This is a listening and speaking class. So you guys can jump in either in this group or ask your classmates instead of typing messages, right? So avoid typing messages. Try to speak in English, ask each other questions, right? Say if you're having problems editing the document, say, hey, Erica, would you mind adding my name under traditions and holidays? And I, I bet Erica would be more than happy to do that for you. Okay, so no reason, no need to type messages, type text, use your microphone as best you can, use your voice, use the language to converse. So it looks like we've got some names popping up here. We've got Erica and Jazz. Uh, let's do one more thing, too. I didn't ask you to do this, but I think it might be a good idea. After your name, in fact, uh, Estefana did, uh, did this, and I think it's a good idea to include the team or group number after your name. So maybe in parentheses, after your name, include... You can just say team one, team two, team three. That'll be, I think that's a good idea so we can see which team each person is, okay? So we've got uh, Stefana, Sigrid, and Mirna, Jacqueline. Under recipes, food. So far, we've got Monica, Nelly, and uh, Paulina under traditions. Looks like we've got Adan. Make sure, you guys, that to include your team number, you can just put team one, team two, team three, put that in parentheses after your name. That I think that's a good idea so that we can distinguish between the different teams here. All right, looks like we've got most of you here. Just going to clean this up a little bit, keep it looking consistent. All right. So, uh, again, if you haven't had a chance or if you had a problem accessing the document, either ask one of your teammates to help you out or... Uh, go in later today uh, and add your name to your to the list. Okay, by tomorrow we should have everyone's name here, even those who aren't here. Right, so I understand that some are absent today that are not in this live session. So, if your team is one of your teammates is not here, go ahead, please, and add his name or her name uh, to another another topic. And if you need to chat later today or even tomorrow, again, on the topics to, again, check. If you need to change, you know, if, uh, if you change your mind today or tomorrow and you want to talk about something else, that's fine. Just make sure that you update 
this Word file so that it's accurate, so that it's up to date, so we all know who's talking about what from each team. Okay, just make sure that you update this file if there are any changes. Okay, there's no problem if you change your mind and you decide as a team to talk about a different topic. Okay, all right, very good. Let's go back now to our meeting notes. Again, I'm trying to keep track with, uh, keep up with the meeting notes so that you guys can also refer to. Uh, these different uh, activities and topics that we talk about each day in class. All right, so today I want to ask you guys as a whole group, all right, we want to talk about celebrities. And now's a good time to activate your mic. Go ahead, unless there's a lot of background noise, okay? If there's a lot of background noise, then I would ask that you keep, your mic muted unless until you want to speak and then you can activate your mic but if you're at home and there's not a lot of noise in the background go ahead and activate your microphone and i would like also to see your your faces if you want to turn on your camera please do so right this is not a beauty pageant we don't care really what you look like uh, but it, it's great to see your faces, uh, especially in these whole group discussions. So I want to spend a few minutes talking as a group. And so feel free to turn on your camera. Certainly turn on your microphone. You don't have a lot of background uh, noise. What do you guys think about celebrities? And first of all, like who who are some of the the most popular celebrities right now? In your in your worlds, right? In your conversations and growing up, who are some of the the key celebrities that stick out for you? Can you repeat the question, please? Sure. What? Who were uh, some sure. popular celebrities? They could be actors musicians, they could be artists, they could be designers, fashion designers, they could be sport uh, figures, they could be uh, athletes. Who are some of the most popular celebrities for you um, at, at this time? Mm. At this time, like, I don't know, but I can say that I, uh, I like a lot Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Okay. Adam Sandler. And is this somebody that you've liked for a long time or if, is this some, someone recent that you, that you appreciate that you like? Um, it counts like YouTuber. Well, yeah, so so it could be. It could be a YouTuber. Um, how, so maybe I should back up and ask a different question. If, if it's a YouTuber, who, what is a celebrity? I mean, what makes a person celebrity? Um, I think that it just has to be, like, famous. And if he presents, like, in, um, in a lot of places... I think that that's another thing that a famous or a celebrity do. All right. So, what makes a person a celebrity? Yeah. All right, anybody yeah. else have some thoughts? Me. Hey. Yes. Mm, a person is famous because the patient that he or she does in the thing that that he or she does. Okay. Can you the say that one? One. Can you say that again, please? Like the patient from the famous people, the patient that they have or do the activities. Okay. When you say, are you saying patient? Patient. Oh, si, passion. Ah, okay. Passion. Passion. Ah, passion. So we have two words here, patient and we have passion. 
right? I, it's different. <laughs> right, right. So, so they have to have passion, right? Absolutely, right? So they have to be somebody that's out there in the world, right? So maybe Adam Sandler, he makes movies, right? So he's going to be out there in the big screen, right? A, a sports figure is going to be out there doing sports, playing in the, in the fields and, the, and playing in front of people. But they definitely have to have passion, so they have to put in the hours. Anybody else? What do you think? What makes a person a celebrity? That they are known by a lot of people. All right. So a lot of people know them. They're famous. We have this word famous, and we also have a word... Infamous. I think we know what famous might be, right? Famous, a lot of people know them. What's infamous mean? It's like the opposite of famous. All right. Any examples? Any examples of a celebrity that you think is infamous? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Any? For example, uh, that me, I'm infamous because not all the world knows me. And for example, Ariana Grande is famous because everybody knows her. All right. Anybody else have uh, any thoughts on the matter? Infamous. Infamous. Is it, does inf infamous simply mean not famous? Anybody else think of an example of someone who is infamous? So, for example, I'm thinking of uh, someone who someone who win uh, a prize, uh, whatever it is, and it's not uh, that person is not famous for that because of that. Uh, I'm thinking of it. All right. Anybody else? Infamous. I'm going to share my screen here. In fact, I am sharing my screen. I have a website here. Hopefully you can see my screen. I just did a search. The 50 most infamous actresses of all time. I guess this could have been actors too, but actresses. Actress, female actor. So all of these people are really famous. Like My, My, Miley Cyrus. Yes. Right? I mean, we all know a lot of these people. Carrie Fisher. Whitney Houston, Courtney Love. So infamous, these are people that are, or at least ha have been very popular. And maybe they're still popular, but they're, they could be also infamous. So infamous means that somebody's popular or known, but for doing something bad. Right? Doing something... Um, yeah, just either illegal or, or just morally not great. <laughs> you know, they're, they do some bad things, but they're popular for doing those bad, those bad things. All right. So oh. infamous is not just, so when you're infamous, you're still quote unquote famous. You're popular. You know, maybe popular might be not, may not be the, the best word, but you're well known. All right, so when you're infamous, you're well known for doing something, you know, bad, poorly, right? Maybe against certain norms, okay? And and so that's that's the difference between famous and infamous. So think about some celebrities, Adam Sandler, who else is really popular in your world in terms of celebrity someone and it could be someone infamous or 
famous? Someone who has passion about what they do? I have one. Yes. Mm, it's Mex Mexican, Yuya. Okay. And who is who is this artist? If you can type it also in the chat. Yes. Uh, well, it's a YouTuber and it's very like famous because they make up and she always doing good things and also have a star in the in the LA LA app in Los Angeles. <laughs> okay. So this person has passion for what uh, is it a girl or a female or a male? Yes, it's a girl. It's a girl, mm -hmm. all right. And she um, did. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very famous for the things that, that, that um, she does. All right, so she, you said that she was positive, all right? She's a positive person. Is that what you said also? Yes, it's, I think it's very positive. All right. So maybe she has a good attitude. Or yes, we... always in also in the social media. It's very positive and good person. Okay. So this person is positive. She has a good attitude. She has a good disposition. Right? So she's uh, she yeah. probably knows something about makeup. Is it, right? Is that what you said? Makeup? She applies makeup? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, right. She has like, um, I don't know how to say this, makeup in green males and mm -hmm. like, um, I don't know how to say paletas and this. How do you say that word, um, guys? Anybody know? No, did you? Type uh, if you could type the person's name, someone uh, in in the chat, <laughs> Maho or anyone else. Uh, type that into the chat. The name of the person, YouTuber. Oh so, yes, it's you. Yuya, all right, Yuya. So check out Yuya if you're interested in makeup, right? So this person's positive. She probably has a skill of applying makeup. Okay. Um, and she probably has a lot of knowledge. Also, she have uh, she has a lot of videos in YouTube, YouTube about another things. For example, how to uh, book or something, and how to decorate your room or uh, some party, something like that. And she has also very a lot of things. Do you know how many followers she has? Mm, in YouTube, mm -hmm. she has like mm, twenty-three million. And is she on? Is she in other spaces or just in YouTube? Do you know? Mm, in Instagram, uh, I don't. I'm not sure, but also she she has million of followers. Okay. So we can talk about her online presence, her online presence. So I'm asking about her online presence, if she's just in YouTube or maybe she has an Instagram channel, maybe she's on, I don't know, some other social media, Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. But online presence, so that probably has something to do with being a celebrity, right? Not just how many followers, but also from, you know, from YouTube, but also her overall presence online. Some other people, some other celebrities that you that you like, that you follow. Um, for example, um, I really like Shakira <laughs> because um, she sings in Spanish, in English, in French. Um, I don't know. I think that increases her popularity. Okay, and did you say? Uh, Shakira? I'm... Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're right. So she's... And how long has she been around? How long has she been producing music? I'm not really sure. Um, 
Been a long time. I know. I know. I remember. Yeah. I I remember her when she had black hair. When she was really, really young. Yeah. Um, so the duration of her career. We had this word career. What does this mean? Career. Carrera. Does it mean carrera? We have this word major and in English we have this word career. Are they the same? Yeah, but major is referring uh, about is referring to what you are studying at university or college, and career is what you are doing. Uh, yeah, what you do, uh, the word you have. Right. So, what is your major? Somebody might ask you, "Hey, what are you majoring in? What are you majoring in?" What do you think? How would you answer that question? Yeah, and I would say I'm studying. So what's your major, guys? Uh, my major is English teaching. You can answer like this. I'm majoring in, I'm majoring in English language teaching. Maybe some of your friends might answer, well, I'm majoring in medicine. I'm majoring in uh, Spanish. Maybe they want to major in Spanish. Okay, so be careful with the words in English. <clears throat> major and career. Career is the professional career. That is, when you're actually working in a profession, you're working, now you're teaching, right? My career is teaching because I'm a teacher I'm working as a teacher and that's my that's my career yeah, all right so major and career be careful with those two words all right so what I want us to do here let me open up here we've got celebrity I'll include this link this is a good uh, kind of overview things to think about when you think about celebrity. Forbes, you might also want to take a look at these Forbes lists of most the most popular people. And this is interesting because they take it by year. If you're looking at my screen, you'll see 2002, 2003, the most popular people for each year over the last 20 plus years. And it's kind of interesting to see some of these people reappearing on many of the lists. Some people are popular one year and then you never hear from them. But again, most of these people have, are really popular. They've been around for a long time. Let me include this link as well. And what I'd like to do is to spend about 30 minutes... I want to come back at 9.30 so we can hear our song to conclude today's class. I want to give you 30 minutes to work in your groups. Now, the groups that I want you to work in now are your performance task number two teams. All right, So the same groups that you just went in earlier today. I'd like for you to go into your teams, talk about what makes a celebrity popular, Again, use any of these documents, any, any websites that you find useful to define celebrities, define what it means to be a celebrity, and, and include examples. Okay? So de define celebrity as a team and include examples. And uh, what I'd like for you to do is to open up a meeting and talk first about what you want to say and then when you're ready and you can practice a couple of times if you want i want you to create a three to five minute recording defining celebrity and including examples 
You decide how you want to uh, speak, who's going to talk about what, but only three to five minutes, no more than five minutes, all right, for the whole team, all right? So each person's probably going to speak anywhere from one minute to a minute and a half total, right? So very short, but try to answer both the question, what is a celebrity, and the question, who are certain celebrities that support your definition? Again, define celebrity and include examples of celebrities that support your definition. All right, so let's go into our teams, work it out. You can practice without recording first, okay? And then whenever you're ready, record your session. And when you're finished with your recording, as always, upload it to a folder called Week 7. Since we're beginning Week 7 today... Any work that you do in your groups for this week should go under a folder called Week 7. All right. Any questions, guys, about the task? No. The no sure. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and break into our groups. We'll come back at 930 to hear our song and then to... Close our class. If you guys have any questions, of course, jump in here, or I'm also checking my messages in my chat if you guys have issues or questions about to, uh, our activity right now. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and break into our groups. Ready. Okay. Um, hello? Hello? We are the team number one, and this is our celebrity concept. A celebrity is a person who is well known and gets a lot of public attention or attention for other people. Usually a person becomes a celebrity from entertainment, such as people who are in movies, people who sing, and someone who play a sport. While fame is generally a requirement for achieving celebrity status, it is not always sufficient. There has to be a certain level of public interest in the person, which may or may not be motivated by the reason that person is famous. A public figure such as politician or businessman can be famous, but not become a celebrity, unless it is realized or provokes the interest of the public and or the media. Celebrity, uh, a celebrity is a very famous person. It just single handedly save an entire family from a burning building. You become a local celebrity. Celebrity come directly from the reality celebrity to many famous and reality to the bar celebrate, which means to honor something with the proper ritual. You sell you celebrity now when we talk about entering star food summer one, though as I have it to be on the supermarket, I was to be a celebrity. Celebrity can we use to mean the state of Femi. If you are seeking celebrity, develop a deep skin for nasty rumors. I will talk about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a former American basketball player who led the Chicago Bulls, the six NBA champions, and won the most Available Player Award five times. Who is Michael Jordan? Michael Jeffrey Jordan is a former professional American basketball player, Olympic athlete, business person, and actor. Considered on one of the best basketball basketball player, even he dominated the sport from the mid nineteen eight to the late. 1919. Jordan 
lead the Chicago Bulls, the six national basketball associations, championships, and earned the NBA most valuable players award five times wide five regular season in three all star MVP. Jordan became the most decorated player in the NBA. Another very famous celebrity is Donald Trump, who is currently president of the United States since 2017. He's a well-known character for what he thinks and what he has done during his term. Many people do not do not like him because of how he thinks about immigrants, but for others, he's an excellent president. But without a doubt, immigrants, uh, well, He's a character who has caused a lot of controversy and therefore attention of everyone. We also have to the famous Taylor Swift, who is a super successful woman. He's a, she's an actress and she's one of the best known singers in the world. And her music is wonderful. The last year she was recognized as the woman and the singer of the decade. So these three people are uh, very famous celebrities. And this is our concept of celebrity, of the team number one. Uh, ah, yeah. ya. Yeah? Ya? Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, what makes a, a, a person famous? Um, mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. I think that um, you can you can make you famous uh, doing a lot of things. For example, I don't know. Uh, you can you can ha huh. <laughs> you can act. There's a lot of uh, of actress and and that kind of people who act since they are kids. And well, one example is Regina Blandon. Do you know her? No. <laughs> Regina Blandon is Bibi from Familia Peluche. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she she acts since uh, like she is like a little girl. She actually to, uh, acts before do doing the uh, the familia peluche.
Mm, el primero. Me first. If you want. Okay, so I think a pers a famous person is a person that shows his talent or things that he does very well, like paint, play an instrument, or write a book, etc. Many times the famous had practiced to develop and do more better uh, something. His bad or good actions makes a person famous or infamous. A famous needs the audience to continue with his cover. And one example that I have is Nikki, Nikki Six. He's, he's the leader of Motley Crew. rock and roll from 80s and i think he's famous because he wrote the um, he wrote he wrote the letters of many songs of his band but i think he he's infamous because during his career he he did um, some bad actions for example he he had a uh, overdose of heroin, so I think um, she loved the drugs, and it's my example. I think Nikki Six is a famous and infamous person for those reasons. It's all. Okay. Um, I think that a famous person is someone who has abilities or talents, such as, um, I don't know, writing, singing, um, making art, or speaking, for example, in someone who is YouTuber, um, how do you say charisma? I don't know. What word? Charisma. Mm, no, I don't know. <laughs> well, and I also think that this person should be kind um, well, for example, treat people with kindness or love their their fans. For example, I love Harry Styles, so I think that he is a famous person because he has um, talent. He is a writer, singer, and a fashion icon. So I love him because he loves their fans and. Okay, I think that's it, but I love him so much. Yeah, I, I like Harry Styles too. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, that's so cool. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay.
so um the next is your turn okay uh, well i think uh a person can become famous because of um, some talent that this person has or some natural talent that someone can have for example uh, in this case uh, i consider singing is a uh, is some natural talent that someone can have uh, the person that i describe is charlie put and he's a writer and a producer and i remember he became famous because of his uh some see you again in the movie of fast and furious i, I don't know if you remember that and I admire him because of the high high notes that he can have, and because um, he um, could be intelligent. And uh, well, I, I think uh, same as Daira. I I like him so much and I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I like Charlie Booth too. Okay, seeing you again. It's a, it's a good song, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop the mini. Okay. Bueno, que sí se puede. Ya. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Mm. Um, for example, uh, I think a famous person is a person known for all the world. And he or she, like, it's like a, uh, I don't know how to say, como un líder. And, mm -hmm. and that's why everybody, like, or some of the people follow her or, or him. What do you think, uh, Maya Jacqueline, that is a famous person? Of my favorite mm, famous or your famous? No, uh, I'm asking what do you think is a famous person? Mm, like, uh, I don't know, Justin Bieber. I like her songs. <laughs> Because um, I don't know, I like your song because um, he he has a, a beautiful song and I like and I don't know and other other famous like Dua Lipa. Um, like. Um, Ed Sheeran, Coldplay, 21 Pilots, and others, but I think that, <laughs> I don't know, what do you think, Maria, about your favorite person? 
my my famous favorite is Tom Melis because he is a charismatic person and very friendly. Also, he is uh, very handsome. Okay. Yeah, for example, exactly. Uh, I heard that you like Coldplay. Uh, yes. I like some of, of the songs because I don't know the songs very well. I like Do you look? The piano music. Yes. Um. Wait. I I am going to. Cargar my computer because my battery is low. Wait a moment, please. Yes, okay. Please. Go ahead. Sonia, do you like Coldplay? Yes, I like it too much. Well, I don't hear all like the songs from them, but for example, the I don't know. I just know one, like Yellow. I don't know the letters. Princess. I, I, uh, I yeah. Think. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yes, the sense it is is ciencia in Spanish. I think. <laughs> mm. What it means in Spanish? Mm, creo que es la ciencia in Spanish. But I don't know. It's a song que su ritmo is uh, mm, I don't know how to say in English. Um, it's like you said, tell me a secret. <laughs> yeah, but what do you want to say? What significa como el ritmo? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Like, Así como muy... Sad, como triste, sad. Yes, but así como muy suave la canción, muy relajada, pues. Eh, muy relajada. Mhm. Mm person do an activity like to singing, to dance, like every activity that you can like imagine, but with passion. And they give all of them to to reach all the goals that they have. For example, the YouTubers, uh, maybe um, different, uh, all of them have different goals, but for example, some of them can like have the, well, the dream that they have is to have a lot of followers. So if the YouTubers make videos and good videos and all the week are putting new videos and new videos. So if people like those types of, of videos, they're going to follow him. Follow her. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the famous person are people who don't give up. For example, in the example, for example, when I said about the YouTubers, I think then not in the first video they're gonna have a lot of followers. You have to like keep going with your like your way 
and being very focused in your first of all goals. I think that's a, a famous person. Uh, can you guys tell me what is a famous person for you? Well, um, uh, the famous person for me is a person, how do you say, um, um, I don't know, como para, um, um, a famous person, que canta, um, is an actress, or um, like a uh, YouTuber, or people that I, that, that have a, a much person for, I don't know, Que la siguen, pues, o sea, muchas personas. Yeah, who, who follow, or como follow, uh -huh. people follow. Uh -huh, people follow to this person, and, and I think that is, is the same idea, is every, is all what you say. Yeah, I think uh, we're in the same like meaning of the word. We think like similar things about this topic. Mm -hmm. So, Maria de la Cruz, what do you think that is a famous person? I I think that a famous person is uh, very nice and funny and humble because people follow humble per people uh, see because people follow humble person and they are uh, intelligent person yes i think the same thing you that a uh, famous is intelligent because um, I think a famous person have the strate strategies to reach the, the goals that, that they have. So, um, for example, I didn't know what was a infamous person. I thought it was only like not famous. But when the teacher told us the meaning that it was a person who is known by bad things like they they do so i i was thinking about it and for example for me uh i think it's bad smoking weed and um there are a lot of for example youtubers or singers that are known for do those kinds of things but, but but i'm confused because i say they're famous too like but i don't know my thinking really good yeah i got it now <laughs> uh, they are famous uh because they do bad things but i think like it's Subjetivo. I don't know how to say subjetivo. Objetivo, no sé. Because... I think example, it is go on. Or not. No. No. O, digo subjetivo o objetivo. O sea, oh, que lo, yeah. Se mm -hmm. escucha como objetivo, ¿verdad? No, sí. <laughs> eh, no, don't worry. Entonces, and then, uh, I think that it's different because, for example, for me, it's, it's bad smoking weed that for another person can be good to do it. So I think it's relativo. Como I can think that, but another person can think another, another thing. Yes. Um, ok, 
Okay, so um, I find uh, information about Coldplay or I don't know other panels that is like the information of the teacher. Mm, but mm. uh, what are you trying to, to say? Um I I want to say I don't know inform, information about these I don't know how to say banda um things um, something like that I think it's band no um, I don't know but um a ver. Yes, it is one. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to try um, to tell you about more information about the band Coldplay. So how the information like uh, a teacher shading in in the car do you remember or not yes yeah i remember um wait <laughs> forget about it I I don't I don't to I don't know how to say about this one but I want to tell you um something but I I don't know how to say it because I am confused why the things uh what I say I don't know it's normal. Just try to say it, and if you don't know a word, if Marianne can help you, we'll do it. But if I don't know, well, I cannot help you. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if I do, yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. because sometimes it's complicated to to communicate this, the, all the our steps. So, yes. But yeah, go ahead and try. We're learning to get it. Yes. Mm. In this moment, I stop here or the recording or or not? Yes, because we already talked about what is a, a famous person. Yes. You can stop it. Yes. So, bye. 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 Okay, uh, what do you do for a celebrity is that they always have to look good with associating. What they do is take care too much of what they do so that they do not cause scandals. 
they help people give um how do you say entrevistas interviews uh, interviews do concert and a part of what they hear they give it to organization that support people they support people who are just making themselves now I have some example of celebrity like Martin Luther King Jr. was 34 when he wrote to talk. I had a dream and the other celebrity is Christopher Columbus was 41 when he discovered the Americans after several attempts and fell in his life. Okay, well, for me, a uh, famous is a person who is an inspiration to others and receives much attention. And will you become famous for the impact you have on people and if they like what you do, you will get more fame and with this you do more things. For example, like if you gain a lot of followers in the different social platforms, the brands um, are going to want to collaborate with you and then you are going to gain more fame. It's, it will like you said it's like um i don't know when you are famous i think you can't um do mistakes and you need to be like perfect for the society and the person that do everything right and like who always look good and do different stuff like music or acting or just like uh, do different type of merch, I don't know. And yeah, I think that's all. It's okay. Um, Ya está grabando, ¿eh? Ok. A celebrity is a person who is well known and gets low, lots of public attention or attention for other people. A person whom the public knows such as a person in government might be well known but not celebrity unless something else makes them interesting to other people. Usually a person becomes a celebrity for entertainment, such as people who are in movies, people who sing, sing songs, and someone who plays a sport. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you some characteristics that the celebrities had. For example, I'm gonna start with the painter. Um, for me, some characteristic that they have is talent, passion, um, perfectionism, because every time that they paint something, it means that they have talent, the passion, and perfectionism to the art gets well. Another one is the singer. And they, for me, have also talent. They have um, self-confidence to sing and be famous to a lot of people. And they have 
also perfection in that the voice always um, sound good. Another is the actress. Um, the one that are famous for actress, for me, they have passion to act. Also have learning ability to always be learning about the mistakes and all the things. And also the competitive compa <laughs> la competition. I don't know how to say that word in English. Um, because I always want to be better for other actress. And I think that's all the characteristics for me are really important. And I think that's all. So, for example, we have a different type of famous people. We have the characteristics of singers, like a few singers could be Beyonce. She's a really, a really recognized singer from all around the world. We also have Rihanna. We also have Ariana Grande, two big singers that everyone in the world knows. And then we also have actresses and actors. For example, one actor that is really known amongst all people could be Leonardo DiCaprio or also Brad Pitt. Or in Mexico, um, it could be Eugenio Derbez. And some famous actresses could be Natalie Portman, Mer Marilyn Monroe, or Jennifer Lawrence. And we have another type of famous people, but these are called infamous people. Infamous people are celebrities that are known for doing something wrong. For example, we have the president of the United States, um, the president Donald Trump, that he's a, a really, really bad person. And we also have Kim Jong-un. He's the president of North Korea. And these two people are really well known around the world for doing a lot of bad things to their countries and other countries. So they are called infamous people. And that's all. Okay, so we think that a famous person is someone who is recognized all over the world, like soccer players, for example, Messi, Ronaldo, uh, reggaeton singers that nowadays are so popular in young people, or that could be uh, recognized only in a country. Uh, for example, in Mexico, we have artists like Juan Gabriel, Vicente Fernandez. And also, mm, they have lots of followers on social media. Uh, and examples could be YouTubers like Luisito Comunica and Yuya. And when there is a problem in a country, place, or in the world, uh, like a natural disaster, wars, or when people need food, uh, they are there to help them, and uh, maybe with providing money or food. Um, I think that uh, a famous person is also someone attractive, uh, because there are so many people uh, who could be famous, but they are not attractive at all. Uh, but for example, people like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo or or Messi, uh, they used to be attractive, and they attract uh, uh, they attract people um, because of their appearance. So, for example, uh, some uh, some people used to have uh, posters on on their walls uh, on their house houses. 
and, and that's that's why they are famous because they are attractive for people and people who are attractive are also kind polite and humble so for example some people used to uh, uh, for example if i uh, if i meet with uh, with some famous like a soccer player or a singer uh, i may ask for a for a pick and that person uh, uh that person who is famous used to be polite and uh and, so, and probably will accept my request so i would say like uh luisito comunica if you meet with him uh, probably he will accept that uh, like a pick or if we want to talk uh, uh, he probably will accept that So it's your turn. And uh -huh. um, I think the fam famous used to win some awards because they are so special. When people see a famous who is very passionate, uh, they do ver uh, they like it even more because that makes you notice how much they like their work. And the family are like a model model for certain people. Uh, the famous motivate people. They are like a figure to follow. That is when they see the celebrity, they feel motivated to get over and be a better person. Okay, so that's it. That's what we think that a famous, a famous person is a celebrity. Yes. Hi, guys. Hello. Mm, okay, so... Maria can talk to... Can you write in the chat? Okay. So we had to talk about uh, who de define our famous people. What do you think about that, Alonso? Well, I think to what um, define a famous people. Mm. I think, well, the first, <laughs> I think, is that, well, how many people know this person? Or uh, well, the team medium where the person is famous. Like I don't know, many people can be famous in some mediums, like politics, sports. Yes, I think the same. Like, well, there are a lot of famous people, but in different ways, like sport um, influencers. YouTubers <laughs> and other <laughs> things like that. But we need to define that uh, famous people um, are not always like it is a different and, and like in influencers are not always famous people. There are like like the teacher says, like sometimes he only are artists and not famous people because famous people are like all the people can know. Or I don't know. What do you think about that? Mm. Well, I think. 
uh, influencer maybe could be famous. I don't know. For example, uh, Luisito Comunica maybe <laughs> the first one that come to my mind. But I think that type of people are celebrities and not famous people. Ah yeah. Like Juja, whatever. Mm. How influencers? Um. What is their name of influencers? Do you know? Um, TikTokers. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, oh yeah, Kimberly Loaiza and JD Pantoja. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, well, I think it's very curious because influencer is a very new term. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, 10 years ago, the word influencer another. doesn't exist. <laughs> what, what? Like, Televisa people. <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> people too. <laughs> <laughs> well, bad famous people, bad. They, all of them are famous. Well, not famous, bad. They are celebrities. Yeah, maybe, well, I imagine a celebrity like the people who appears in the... <clears throat> In the newspaper, or maybe in... Alonso, do you know, in the actually, all the people don't see the newspaper? I uh, don't well, well, maybe like... Uh, sorry, Social sorry. media. The people who are seen in TV programs, in important event, events, like the red carpet, the Golden Globe, or things like that. Yeah. Maria, please write in the chat. What do you think? <laughs> yes, Maria, we can read you. <laughs> Maria, are you there? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mm, okay, so so finally to finally did. Um, can we define the difference between celebrity and famous? Only to finally this call. I'm sorry. I think to finally this call, we need to define a difference between celebrity and between famous. What are the difference between famous and celebrity? Are you okay with yes. that? I am agree with you. Okay. <laughs> and you, Maria? Maria, are you there? Ay, me faltó el you. I think that a, a celebrity is person who had great fame and that many people know. I'm agree with Maria, like celebrity people are person who has created fame and a lot of people are all the people know about that person. Or or well uh he only have many like the YouTubers, many subscribers. And famous people are like person who has or to that make 
a big difference in music, in culture, or another thing. Mm, yeah, I I think that's right too. Like, uh, celebrities uh, can well can be many, uh, could be many, and uh, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, so I really have many followers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it. Can we finally the record? Yes. Okay. A person is considered famous when he or she is known for doing certain activities, such as uh, sing, act, dance, paint, and write. And well, some examples are Taylor Swift, uh, One Direction, James Peterson, he's an author, um, Beyonce, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's a sportman, and Justin Bieber, and well, that's it. Okay, for me, a famous person that who has a big achievement for her personal work especially in the music, in the movies, theater, or science. Um, for me, they need to have a spiritual aspect or be a famous person. For example, her ex, personality, her aspect, her patient, they put in her work, and how they could adapt in different of the and Hedwig, she's an actress, she has received awards for several babies, movies and talk shows. I really love her personality and the way of she performs her, her characters. Uh, okay, uh, for me, what makes a person a celebrity are things like the impact they have on the society, uh, whether they are in the music industry, acting, politics, etc. And also the actions they carry out, good or bad, either one gives a lot to talk about. And an example of a celebrity for me would be Michael Jackson. He was a great artist for something he's called the King of Pop. And also he did many charities. And that's it. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you today? Hello, fine, Andrew. I'm really tired, but I'm working. So, in, in you. Hello, I'm good too. So well, we're talking about for how to make our famous person and celebrity. So who can gonna start? It? Someone? Me. Okay, that's right. Go ahead. Mm. 
Well, someone who is famous is a person who is highly recognized by various people. Um, this person is recognized for all that he has achieved or what he has done throughout his life. For example, the actor Leonardo DiCaprio is very recognized in the world because he's a great actor and has made many well-known films um, which have helped him to be where he is now. Another example could be the singer Carlos Rivera, who is well known for his songs because he sings very well and is also a great person. I think that for a person to be fam famous, they also have to be a great person with their audience because if they are not, then they will not be able to become famous because no one will love them. And I, I only think this. Okay, that's right. You were talking about for Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes. Yeah, you're, he's really good actor. Yes. And you, Fatima? Well, I put that for me, a celebrity is a person who is highly recognized in the area of what they do, like as films, music, sport, and it's highly known and have a lot of public attention from other people. and that the key of their, like, because of their, are famous, is because of their talent, that they are good at what they specialized in. And yeah, I put that about what, for me, a celebrity is. Okay, that's right. Well, um, I think, there are famous persons who want to contribute something to society, be it from entertainment to politics. For example, I really like Anna Hathaway. Um, she makes me a super cute and nice woman, apart from the fact that she appears in many movies that I love. Um, they like, for example, um, The Devil with Praga, um, Alice in Wonderland, and other movies. She's also very good at singing, dancing, and she's an excellent actress. In all she plays in our films, addition to having won number of awards from the Academy. So, well, we can say the famous person is known for the activities he does and how he does them that many people follow and admire him. And yeah, um, another thing, can you say or it's all i think it's all yeah me too i think yeah so well thank you for your part participation and see you in the class guys okay bye bye see you Thank you. Ah, uh, creo que ya. Si les aparece el mensaje de que ya está grabando. Sí. Okay. So I think a famous person uh, have to be like a very positive person that is active in social media too because it have to to upgrade. You know what what is thinking, what is doing, and all that stuff.
Um, I think a celebrity is a person who is recognized by talent, like music or movie or movies, or maybe a sport. And he's a person who influences the life of his followers. I think uh, be celebrity celebrity means um, a person who is celebrated uh, for something. Um, celebrities include not only actors but um, many sports figures. Um, I think uh, businessmen and women too, politicians, uh, people in the new media, artists. Uh, musicians, singers, um, dancer. Uh, so anyone who has become recognized and um, celebrate, celebrate for who they are or what are they doing, celebrity, I think is a uh, celebrity means. Yeah, I'm agree with you both, but I don't know if you think the same but sometimes the people make a famous person like is always doing like bad things or uh, I don't know that is a bad person in general I don't know why people likes to make that people like famous yeah I think it's true um, I don't know sometimes because um, I actually I don't know why this person become famous, but I don't agree. I don't think have a good. I don't know. I I, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I think Dana left the call. Maybe she has problems with her internet internet. Oh, yes. Mm. Um, let me invite her to the call. Yes, okay. Okay. Oye, hablando acá, acá de separado, uh, tenemos que subir un video como el que habíamos hecho antes, pero de lo que estamos hablando ahorita, o solo subimos como la llamada completa. Mm, según yo, la llamada. Mm, pero no estoy muy segura, la verdad. ¿De qué? ¿Qué pasó? Andábamos hablando de que si teníamos que subir como un, un vídeo editado, como el que habíamos hecho en la actividad anterior, o si solo teníamos que subir como la llamada grabada y ya. Mm, creo que solo tenemos que subir la llamada, ¿no? Ya la terminamos. O sea, ya terminaron de grabar. Uh, yo creo que todavía hay que hablar un ratito más, no sé. Mm, sobre... Nos faltaron los ejemplos. Oh, yes. Mm. Ok, I just opened the link that the teacher gave us and uh, um, I'm going to search in the 20th century in first place we have julia roberts is an actress i don't know if you you know her 
No. I don't know. Me no. Uh, I do. I know her. I don't remember the war movie, but I know who is she. Yeah, she was. I don't know if you seen the movie of Snow White. Uh, well, there's a lot of movies of Snow White, but in one, Julia Roberts is the the witch. Um, is uh, when she looks mirror and she entered like uh, another um, space. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Or, or to movie to Pretty Woman? Yeah, uh, it's her. <laughs> I <laughs> remember that movie. Yeah, and in second place, we have George Lucas, that is a filmmaker. I don't know a lot about filmmakers. So I don't know him. Actually, me neither. I don't know who he is. Yes, me too. I don't know who he is. I moved to 2020, and in first place is Kylie Jenner. I think we all know Kylie Jenner. Yes. And then we have a lot of football players, uh, football soccer. I think uh, another celebrity um, can be, I don't know, Barack Obama. Yes, I think it's okay. Mm. Yeah, and we also have like infamous person, like the teacher explain us that do bad things like, I don't know, Donald Trump or that kind of people. I think that Beyonce is one of the most famous person. I think she is because she is star very young and now is have a uh, really much followers. Yes, I think yes. Well, um, Uh, 
Uh, I think we we finished, isn't it? Because um, we are we um, just complete like the five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can uh, return to the teacher's call to listen the song. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to um, upload the, the call to the folder, so you don't have to, to do it. Okay. ¿Quién, quién está grabando? No, um, ahorita detengo la grabación. Okay. Y pues ya, adiós. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Let's go. There you go. Who is going to start? I said the. You. I say no, Mahu. <laughs> Can you start, well, please? Yeah. Well, yeah. for me, um, a celebrity is who do, do the right thing or help um, other people like with advice or or whatever she or she does so i think a celebrity is uh, very like um, patient and passion with he or she does so um i don't know i think that's a celebrity <laughs> okay uh, laura laura are you here can you continue okay uh sorry um, okay laura I'll deal with you at the end of the call. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, for me, uh, a celebrity is, um, well, first of all, first of all, uh, someone famous who have done uh, good things for, um, well, um, the world in general. I mean, I know too many celebrities who have um, joined to campaigns of the UNO, I think that's the name in English, um, talking about uh, self-love, um, I'll love yourself, uh, about the violence, about a lot of things i think a celebrity um uh, is willing to help i mean yes that is someone who's will who's willing to help uh each other and and support well kind of support uh the 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 whole world uh through i don't know music or something like that. Okay. So now it's my turn. Uh, well, I think that a celebrity is, is just a person that is famous. And kind of that's it. Like, I think that a celebrity doesn't have to be a good person or something like that. Because, well, a celebrity is just someone that, you know, make a good, well, maybe make something like a song or participates in a, in a movie or that does something that reach a lot of people. So... That's pretty much all because 
well, it doesn't have to be a good person. It doesn't have to be so talent. But of course, it has to. It has to have some talent. But maybe it doesn't have to be like the greatest. But it has to have a, a little bit of this. So, yeah, that's a celebrity for me. I think. I think you're right. Yeah. Because we have a lot of people, like celebrity, and they are bad person or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what do you think, Laura? Well, uh, troubles with my mic. But I think, well, that's right. A celebrity doesn't must be uh, a good person or be so talented. There are so many celebrities who are not talented at all. <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> We're not going to start it. I'm sorry. Here. I'm kind of sick. We're not going Wait, to I'm kind of sick. I'm here. sorry. I'm kind of sick. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, shut up. Well, that's it. Oh, teacher, she's kind of mean. You can you hear it? Ah. You say shut up. And that's that's not something cool. Well, I'll deal with you at the end. <laughs> okay, so we have to <laughs> have a and general like a consent consent like we have to agree in some definition, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so what do you think? Well, a celebrity is just a, a famous person, and that's it. Yes, I think it's the same. It's a famous person, and that's all. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think this is all for me. Oh, wait, no, we have to do some examples. Can you, can you give some examples? Ladies. Well, I hello, think hello there. Uh, I'm here. That's okay, a celebrity. And maybe could be Leonardo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt. That's my example. <laughs> yeah. And we were talking about like bad celebrities, and I think that you know who is Amber Heard. The ex-wife or Jennifer? Yeah, that one. I think she's really, she's really bad. So, okay. and she's famous. So, yes. <laughs> so yeah, okay. there is one case of bad celebrities. Yes. Well, I did say. Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt, but I think they are amazing people and amazing actors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're good. They're good actors. Yeah. yeah. I think we have to go back to the call. You didn't give an example, Gabby. Well, sorry. I think it could be Celine Dion. I mean, she's a celebrity, but from too many years she has been doesn't know or listening too much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So I guess this is all for today. So see ya. Bye. Bye.
All right, so All right, so taking a look again at the lyrics. What does this mean for you guys here when they say kiss you each morning with strawberry skies? Uh, maybe maybe when the sun is just um uh, getting out. I don't know. <laughs> mm. All right. And what do we we have a word for when the sun comes up and the sun goes down? Uh -huh. I don't know. Say. Uh, Anybody know Atlantic. those two words? Uh, sun, sun, sunrise, sunrise and sunrise. sunset. Uh huh. Sunrise and sunset. Sunset. Sun ding 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 ding. You are correct. So right. So. So kiss each kiss you each morning with strawberry skies probably some visual look of like when the sun comes up and the skies are appearing right yeah. super early in the morning right so from the very beginning of the day right and then blueberry eyes probably blueberry referring to the color of the the eyes of the person Mhm mm very good mm -hmm. uh -huh. What else? Anything else stand out, guys? <clears throat> Any other lyrics that have a figurative or a literal meaning? Uh, the Korean part. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Korean part. Yeah, that's that was interesting. Uh, oh my god! It's actually a very good lyrics. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice song, right? It's got a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, metaphors, a lot of figurative language. When they say "my my heart's beating," yeah, what is that? That's not uh, li that's not literal, right? Because right, everyone's hopefully everyone's heart's beating, everyone's alive. <laughs> but what figuratively? What does that mean? Uh, I think that when that when when in this case when he is with that person. Uh, his heart is like beating fast. Yeah, oh, I don't know. If, I don't know if it, it's a form to say that with that person he feels alive. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like we have this other expression, like when I'm with this person, my heart begins to race. You could say my heart's racing right now. It means uh -huh. it's beating. It's beating really fast. What's that mean? Like you're excited to be with that yeah. person, right? You're super yeah. happy, you're really happy and to be with that person and you've probably been in that situation, right? Where you're with somebody really special, somebody that you really love or you like a lot and your heart just beats. It just starts to go really fast, right? So my heart's beating. I can't wait to kiss you each morning. So right, so he's, right? A lot of figurative language going on there. Yeah, actually, this Korean guy, Suga, does a pretty great uh, lyrics. So did uh, so is he the person that wrote these lyrics? Yeah. Okay. He actually does a, a lot of, of songs. All right. Great. And well, oh, actually, he didn't wrote Blueberry Eyes, but he's no. a friend of Max, and uh -huh. he was like checking all the all the yeah. song he participated in the creation of blueberry eyes but yeah. he didn't That's write right. it uh -huh. uh, okay yeah so max wrote yeah. the lyrics wrote the song yes he wrote it and uh, sugar uh helped to to create it like a producer sugar is a producer uh, okay. and he he helped to to create it and yeah. which was it max who had problems with his vocal cords with his vocal cords? Mm -hmm. Did he have problems with uh, his voice? I was reading I was reading something. Let me know you. Mm. I was reading something somewhere in, online that I think it was either, I guess it was Max. He had problems with his vocal cords where he couldn't sing for four months. Mm, I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, I right. actually don't know that. Great. Well, that was a good song. Um, thank you, uh, Jacqueline, 
for sharing. Thank you, everyone, for participating in that. Um, really good song. When you guys are looking at your own songs, really pay attention to which lyrics, which words of the song are literal, which words are figurative. Remember that a lot of songs, a lot of lyrics have a lot of imagery to describe what it is, right, that you're that they want to express, the message that they want to, to convey. Okay. All right, guys, I think we'll stop there today. Our uh, tasks can be found under meeting notes. So if you arrived late to class, if you're not sure what we did for today, I'm also going to try to upload the recording, but I'm going to try to start keeping the meeting notes located here. Uh, of a, just a list of things that we uh, try to complete for each day. So refer to this either during class or after class if this helps to see what what we did. Um, but today we want was our first day in our performance task number two for unit two. We divide it up into our teams and we should have our uh, assigned roles. okay So if you haven't had a chance to do that, try to do that. For next class tomorrow we'll continue with the topic of a celebrity and we'll do some other activities on friday let me go ahead and tell you what we're going to do on friday on friday we're going to i'm going to ask one question at the very beginning of class and i'm going to ask each of you to speak for one minute to answer the question and we're going to do this online in our online class. All right. So I uh, just want to let everyone know it's uh, Friday at 8 o'clock. We'll start. I'll, uh, I'll present a question. I will pause for one minute. And then I'm going to randomly choose each of you. That is just a, a random number. And choose each one of you to speak for one minute answering the question. All right, so uh, this will be for a grade. We'll be checking for accuracy and fluency. Answering one question for one minute. And we'll record it. And uh, then we'll spend, I'll give you the rest of the class on Friday to complete your podcast. That, but I'm going to go ahead and let everyone know what we're going to do on Friday uh, because this is going to be for a grade. Again, I'll ask one question. I'll ask it once at the beginning. So it's very important that you arrive on time on Friday at 8 o'clock. Right? Because uh, I want to repeat it one time at the beginning. And then I'm just going to go one minute through each, each of you. Right? So I'll choose each of you to respond. And we'll go through just one after the other. Okay? And that's what we'll do on Friday. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. I hope you guys have a great day, a great Monday, and uh, we'll talk to everyone tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye.